Hello world. Well, my subscribers probably saw my recent short where I said I am almost finished with my Coinbase coin market cap to Excel and then display it on a Plotly Dash video, but I am stuck on the Plotly Dash. So I'm going to split this project into two parts. And so the first part and today's video is we're going to pull all the crypto symbols from Coinbase and then pass it to the Coin CoinMarketCap API. So, but first, welcome to the 161st video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you want to watch me build my own digital assistant or if you're interested in using Python for finance or just cryptocurrencies in general. So we're going to be starting off in the Coinbase API. And I've used the Coinbase API before to pull the um, my own account. So to get my own wallet information. And you can watch that video by clicking uh, here. And so what we're going to use is the Coinbase API and requests to just get all the IDs of all the cryptocurrencies that Coinbase uh, maintains, which also includes some of the fiat currencies like the Great Britain Pound, gold, US dollar, etc. And so um, you can use this. Uh, we don't need the wallet and the API because we're not going to get our own um, information so what we're going to do is we're going to import requests and then we're going to uh, that's all you really need just to get the IDs so I created a function called get cryptos and we're going to pass it this URL right api.exchange.coinbase.com currencies um, so api.coinbase.com so this is version 2 um, I didn't use that and so I just use the original one. And then I'm going to use the standard requests param uh, headers. So headers equals accept application JSON. Then the response equals requests dot request. If this is a get function, I don't know if that lists it here. Um, yeah, so this is a get request. So that's why we have passed it this. Uh, we want to pass it this URL. And the headers is right here. And then we're going to save it in a variable called JSON response equals response, which is right here, dot JSON, and then call it. Then I have this empty list right here. So cryptos equals, and then we're going to store it in an empty list. And for each item in this JSON response, I just want the IDs, right? So this item is this right here, and I just want the ID, right? The uppercase uh, information of each of the um, cryptocurrencies and then we're going to append that so cryptos which is what we this is the dictionary we had up here dot append or I'm sorry the list dot append and we're just going to pass it these IDs right and then I want them alphabetically just because I have I'm obsessive compulsive and so let's, uh, I think I called that already. Yep, so get cryptos. I'm going to call that. And let's print that out and see what we get. All right, so what we have here is a large list in alphabetical order, starting with the number one, of all of the cryptocurrencies that Coinbase tracks. So these are the... You know, they're all caps, so you don't have to worry about putting in them in upper. There you go. So now, so that's how you get it. We didn't use any of our Coinbase, I'm sorry, our Coinbase API limits, because this is just a simple get request, and it's not accessing your account, so you don't need your own API key or anything like that. But you will need an API key for the next part, which is where we uh, get the prices of each one. So uh, if you, 
first you need to set up your coin market cap API and I have a video on that and you can watch that here all right and so we're going to use something very similar to the uh, using the requests for this as well so no additional um, no additional things except for we're going to import time because we hit a uh, velocity limit and then um, you will need a coin market cap API key for this now don't if you're just copying and pasting don't copy this from keys import coin market cap API key since I have a YouTube channel for you I store all of my API keys in my own uh, file called keys so don't import this right here and I'll show you where you can put your coin market cap API key in a second so I have this new uh, function called get prices and we're gonna pass it the cryptos right and that is the list that we created here so very similar to this uh, right here uh, we're going to pass the URL which is right here this coin market cap so we are in my coin market cap developer um, I have the free account right just a hobby account I'm not doing anything official so we're going to look at this cryptocurrency and latest now this coin market cap videos are starting to blow up on my channel and everybody wants the historical data but if you look at this historical data it tells you all this great stuff but look at here on these API plans you can't have a basic which is what I have hobbyist or startup you have to have the standard um, API plan just to get three months of data professional account gives you 12 months and enterprise gives you up to six years okay so I am not paying that much money for it so if you go to pricing so the basic is what we're using free hobbyist is $29 startup is $79 a month and that and you don't even get historical data you have to pay standard just to get three months of data and then enterprise they're going to inquire how big your enterprise is this is seven hundred dollars a month for professional okay so that's like websites people doing a lot of calls so we just have the basic one so we're going to use this latest right here and this is available for basic so you can do uh, you know it updates every 60 seconds and then here are some of the options you can use so what we're going to do is use this get method right here um, you can copy and paste this which is what I did here so we're going to define the URL again the headers is the same thing it's going to accept an application JSON however this time you have to pass it this variable right here X hyphen CMC underscore pro underscore API underscore key and then we're going to pass it the coin market cap API key so don't copy this instead create a string and pass it whatever your API is by going to um, let's, so go ahead and hover over this and copy that key right there all right and then just pass it as a string here it should be a bunch of letters like and numbers whatever and so that's what you should do again I have my key this confuses a lot of people um, this is where I store my key so um, I could have a YouTube channel okay so we're going back to latest so he passed it the URL and it's kind of hidden in between this date um, quote USD price so what we're going to do is um, handle that but the first thing we do is I don't want the fiat currencies right I don't want gold I don't want the euro the pound the dollar and I'm not sure what PAX is but either way I don't want that all right so similar to what we did up here for symbol in cryptos right so for all of the symbols that's in our cryptos if the symbol is not in the fiat currencies which are these right here right we just develop that um, what I'm going to do is pass the symbol 
which is every single symbol, right? So it's going to start off with one inch, then AAVE, then ACH, and then it's going to convert it to US dollars. And those are the parameters you need. And what it's doing is it's just filling up this uh, URL. So what you're getting is it by having these parameters right here. So symbol will be like, I believe it's like one inch and then the convert is USD. That's not exactly it. Don't do that. But uh, that's what it's creating right now. All right. And then response equals request dot request request. We're going to get the method, right? This is a get. Then we're going to pass it this URL, the headers, which is the same thing as the one above with Coinbase, but now you're passing an API key and then the parameters and the parameters are each symbol and I want to convert it to US dollars. Similarly to above, we're going to pass it into a JSON response by passing this response to dot JSON and call it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to try giving it a variable called price equals JSON response. Then we're doing what's called a nested, right? We're going deep into the list here. So first we're going to go into data. Then we're going to go into the symbol, the quote, the US dollar. And finally, we're going to get the price. So what we're going to do is we're going into data. Then we're going to find this symbol right here. Then we're going to go into quote right follow along with me quote us dollars and then price so basically we're saying just extract that then we're going to print and this is just for you my goal is to show you how to put it in excel in the next video so the symbol plus a semicolon and then we're going to make it a string of price and the only reason why we're doing that is so i can show you um, down here in the console so and to concatenate a string, you have to change the price to a string. And then we're going to sleep for five seconds or six seconds. And the only reason why is because I've experimented. And this is the best way if you have a basic API key to not trip your velocity rate or your call rate. Now, if we get a symbol that coin market cap some reason doesn't re uh, recognize, then we're going to say symbol not found in coin market cap API. And then we'll pass on to the next symbol. Now this else is part of this right here, or for, of this symbol. So what we're saying is, if this symbol is in the fiat currencies, then just pass. I don't want this. I don't want this, and I don't want that. So that's a lot, right? So to call this, what we're going to do is we need the cryptos to pass it to the get prices. So first we're going to say cryptos equals get cryptos, which is the Coinbase function I showed you. And then get prices, and we're going to pass it the cryptos. All right, so now let's see what this looks like. All right, so now it's going through every, um, all right. For some reason that did not sleep. So let me figure out what I did wrong. Okay, so what I did wrong was I added, I knew it too while I was doing it, was I added a backslash here. If you go to the documentation, you see no backslash here. So, uh, all right, so what it's going to do is go through every single one but it's sleeping for six seconds and there are 129 of these so what i'm going to do is cut here and we'll come right back when this is finished all right so after quite a bit of time we have all the cryptocurrencies less the fiat currencies and now this i just did this for the youtube video but it has the symbol a semicolon and the price all right, and so what I've been doing, I have been storing the data um, in here. And as you can see, the first time I did it, um, I found the CGLD, right, gold. And then about, I don't know, 20, 
about 30 cryptos in, I started getting the not found in market cap API. And that's not true. I was just hitting a limit on how many uh, cryptocurrencies I can pull. So as you can see, all of these were not found because I was hitting my limit right here. So this, I put no time gap in there. So I said, hey, why don't we try a two second gap on the 19th of November? And so I got much better results. Um, but again, here I started getting the not found errors. And I should have done better documentation on what kind of error I was getting, but I kind of knew from what I was doing. So for example, if I got, what I was getting was a 429 error, and I should have printed this out, and it says you've exceeded your API request limit, and then the rate limits reset every minute. Um, I didn't do that, so if we go back to our code, all we did was, um, sorry, we accepted it as a key error, because that's what you're getting, and then I said symbol not found in coin market cap OPI. So what I should have done was um, accept a 429 error and then printed that, but I chose not to. This one I believe was uh, the five seconds. No, this was six seconds. I tried five seconds and got one error, so I switched it to six seconds. And then this one is the first time I started... Uh, um, doing the not in for the fiat currencies, these red ones, the euro, the pound, etc. Yeah. So that's what I was doing here. And so, yeah, so that's how you do it. So what I'm planning next is putting it into Excel. So instead of this print right here, this statement printing here, I'm just going to pass, we're already passing the symbol, then I just want to pass the price to an Excel sheet. And then once I have an Excel sheet, I'm going to pass it to dash. So let me show you what I've been working on and what I'm stuck on. But just so you know, I am working on it. So let's open that up. Um, so let's run it. All right. Oops, I printed out the thing. So we're going to go here. So this is just a taste of what I've been doing. Ignore all of this, the chart. But I basically have this uh, web page on a local server, and you can select all the currencies that you want. Um, right now, I only loaded like the first 10 just for testing. And then I want it to chart the graph so you can compare it. But that is in a future video, so I hope you subscribe so you can watch part two of this video. Please like this video if it helped you, and thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.